Hello everybody, welcome to the UFC Insight Podcast and today we have Ian McCall on the line with us. Ian is the number one flyweight fighter in the UFC and he's taking the time out of his busy workout schedule to come on the podcast. Ian, how you doing tonight, man? Doing wonderful, how you guys doing? Doing good, um, glad to have you on, much appreciated. So, tell us how you got into fighting. Um, it was kind of a natural progression. No, I, I did, uh, did martial arts my whole life, you know, did karate as a kid, and then I uh, got a black belt in Kung Fu Sian Tzu, started watching, uh, you know, UFC, and thought it was the coolest thing on the planet, and I just, I just liked fist fighting as a kid, you know, I liked violence, um, not in like this crazy psycho, you know, I, I killed the animals kind of way, more or less like a... I don't know, it was the ultimate test of man. And I, I, I just like fighting. You know, I was always picked on. Um, people got, you know, well, I, not always picked on, but people, you know, bigger people would, would talk shit and I would beat them up. And then, uh, up dogs. And then, uh, I just ended up wrestling in high school and college and started to train in high school. And I don't know, like I said, natural progression. Tell us how you got your nickname, Uncle Creepy. Um, my friend's son, my friend Sean Starmer is a bartender in Vegas. His kid, you know, was on his, uh, his time schedule, Brian, um, he calls me Uncle Ian, and, you know, I, I was a sober driver, driving everybody around, and we all went home, and then, you know, I, I was trying to put him to bed, it was just, like, super late, and he, he was awake, and just ended up calling me Uncle Creepy, and everybody heard it, so it stuck. After high school, do you have any intention on becoming a pro MMA fighter? Yeah, that was the, the one and only thing I ever wanted to do. How nervous were you in your first ever bout when you took on Jerry Sampson How back in 2002? Um, I wasn't really nervous, you know? I, I just... I was kind of laughing on the way out there. Cause I, I got in a lot of street fights. I was a, I was a pretty shitty kid. Um, every weekend, you know, in high school, we would get in a couple fights. That was the goal. So I walk out there, and then, um, you know, Jerry was like, a, I think, a Golden Gloves boxing champ. And um, he hit me like a man. You know, he hit me like a man who knew how to punch. And I was like, holy cow, I'm in a real fist fight. <laughs> so... From then on, I, I, you know, it was just kind of, it just, I don't know. I, I was never really nervous, but it definitely opened my eyes to, uh, to, to the things of, you know, of what a real fight is like. You took on fighters like Mulsa, Tolliver, Chris David, Cody Wheeler, but you, you have a huge, you had a huge bout against Dominic Cruz. Tell us about your bout. Um, <coughs> you know, I, I. After the Charlie Valencia um, debacle, um, you know, I, my coach, you know, I, I got really depressed, you know, I started partying a bunch more. Coach wanted me back in the gym. I kind of the gym, got a fight against um, Kevin, Dun Kevin Dunsmore. Didn't really perform like I wanted to, but, you know, I still won. And, I, you know, then the WEC came calling again, and I trained my butt off. I, I did I did really train for that. Um, you know, my vices were still there. I was still partying a lot, but I was training hard, you know. Um, and then, you know, I went out there. I, I fractured my leg, my shin, and probably like the first three minutes, maybe. I don't know. I, I've, I've had shin, you know, like shin problems and leg problems my whole life. Um, but yeah, I ended up fracturing my leg trying to kick him. And the, from then on, it, he just use me as a punching bag. Uh, throughout the match, um, you, as you said, like, how hard was it to recover from that? Um, there wasn't much of a recovery. I couldn't move my foot, you know. I, I broke my, or fractured my shin low on my ankle, and that I just couldn't really push off on it. Um, you know, obviously I fought all the way through, you know, and, and did what I, what I had to do. Um, but, you know, it just it didn't turn out the way it wanted to. It's not really an excuse, you know, to, that that's fighting. Stuff like that happens. So, uh, 
you have to try and fight through it. And that day, uh, I, I, I couldn't couldn't fight through it like I, I wish I could have. This past December, you signed with UFC. How excited are you to fight in the UFC or going to fight in the UFC? Oh, man. Um, you know, it's a dream come true. The UFC is, you know, they're the, the biggest organization. You can make a living at it. You know, right now, it's hard to make a living with, you know, I'm, I'm married and I have a kid. Um, I don't have to focus on anything else but fighting at that point, you know, once I'm in there, um, things change, you know, I, I become champion, like I plan on, uh, you know, that's a life changer, you know, you, you're the very first champion of the flyweight division, that's, that's Hall of Fame type stuff, and um, it's, you know, it's, it's really exciting. You're in a tournament to determine the flyweight championship in the UFC, I mean, your first bout will be coming in March between Demetrius Johnson. How does your fighting style match up against Demetrius? Uh, I think it's a good match. You know, we're both um, really fast-paced. You know, we, we both aren't like, you know, elite college or, you know, international wrestlers, but we do out-wrestle everybody we, we fight, you know. Um, and uh, I think striking-wise, I definitely have the upper hand. Um, let's say... Jiu-Jitsu, we're, we're, you know, we're even. I, I don't know how good his Jiu-Jitsu is. I've never seen much of it. I haven't really watched many of his fights except for the Dominic fight. Um, but uh, I think that, um, you know, I, I think he's used to fighting, you know, bigger, slower people. And, and by bigger, slower people, obviously 135-pounders are still fast <laughs> and not that big of people. But, uh, you know, compared to someone our size, we're, we are quicker and we're smaller. Um, I, I don't think he's ever fought somebody as fast as me who, who is his same size, who can match him for speed, but is stronger and, and hits a lot harder. Absolutely, man. I uh, can't wait to see you on TV. That is UFC on FX2, guys. Make sure you tune into that. So let's go on to three. We have three personal questions we'd like to ask you. What is on your iPod? Like, Do you listen to your iPod when you're getting ready? And if you do, tell us what's on your iPod iPod. I love music. Um, you know, anything Southern. I, I like metal. Uh, something like Me and Means in the Sons of Disaster. Uh, that's what I usually walk out to. Um, lately, I've been walking out to my friends. Uh, my friend's band, Event Sevenfold. Um, big ups to my boys in Event Sevenfold. Um, I'll probably be walking out to their song, Nightmare. Uh, you know, I like the Black Keys, Kings of Leon. I love rock and roll. I grew up on blues. Um, you know, like I said, anything, anything seven with a 20 to it, but metal. Uh, when I got a little older, I was, I was in the hardcore scene. as a little straight edge kid. <laughs> um, I, I, there's a whole plethora of things that I listen to that are on my iPod. I'm not really big into rap, but if I, if I am going to listen to rap, I don't want the blingy, blingy, you know, bullshit. I like, like, gangster rap or, uh, Jedi Mind Trick, stuff like that, uh, Ari the Rugged Man. Um, what else? Yeah, you know, I, I even like classical music, you know, Bach, stuff like that. Do you play the UFC games? Uh, I don't play video games. I, 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 I've tried playing video games, I get too frustrated, and I end up breaking controllers, so it's usually not a good thing. <laughs> but, but, if someone was to give me a Xbox with a UFC game, I'm sure I would give it a shot. I mean, I, I played it before and I sucked at it. So, um... Well if, you did, well, if you did, would you create your own player as yourself, and would you go for the uh, uh, flyweight title? Oh, of course. You know, I think that they should postpone coming out with a new game, um, because once everyone sees me play, they're going to want to play as me. I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, I would I would definitely, definitely play as you. I'd kick everybody's ass, man. <laughs> All right, for the, la the last and final question, tell us some workout methods that you do. Uh, workout methods. You know, it, it's not the <coughs> number of workouts that you do. It is the amount of effort you put into your workouts. That's first and foremost. If you're going to work, work hard. You know, if you're going to go over technique, Go over technique, concentrate. Um, 
But as far as workout techniques, um, you know, I don't run. Cause I, I, I got bad legs. Um, so I swim, and I do strength and conditioning and uh, innovative results over here in Costa Mesa. Um, you know, they got all the ropes and the tires and kettlebells and stuff like that. Um, but you really can't get any workout that's like what we do, you know? You have to break everything down. You, you have to do it all separately. Um, you have to do jiu-jitsu. You have to do wrestling, kickboxing, boxing all separately. But, you know, you got to do it together, too. It, it, it's, but you gotta, I don't know. It's confusing, I guess. you got to separate it, and you got to do it at the same time. you got to mix in, you know, boxing with just shots, kickboxing with just shots. Uh, jiu-jitsu straight with, uh, you know, and then wrestling in jiu-jitsu or, you know, whatever it may be. You just got to learn to figure everything out to make it seamless. Ian, thank you so much for coming on, man. Can't wait to see you take on Demetrius Johnson at USC on Fox 2. No problem, man. I can't, I can't wait to be there. All right, I'll see you guys later. Cheers. So there you go, guys. That is Ian McCall. He is going to be taking on Demetrius Johnson at UFC on FX2. That's going to be coming up in March. Can't wait to see him out there. And if you want to he see more interviews on the UFC Insight podcast, make sure to subscribe to us. Check us out on our website at theufcinsight.wordpress.com. And also follow us on Twitter at the UFC Insight. I'm Justin for the UFC In Insight. I'll see you guys later. And we'll announce more interviews. I hope you guys are having a great night. We'll see you guys later.